to Human in general is a game that talks about the effects of technology on society. And in general, um, we wanted to make commentary on that people just basically misunderstand technology. And there's this myth out there um, that you know forums don't matter and they don't affect the press or whatever. And it, clearly, they do affect the press. And um, what I wanted to do is just point out that okay, we need to understand that it does make a difference and we need to put it in its place. And by and large, forums are hyperbole based on almost no fact or information whatsoever. 2,000 years of civilization has been based upon face-to-face -face communication until that point, where you have full reciprocity, where you can see facial expression. And um, these new forms of communication lose all that reciprocity and generally people become aggravated. They say things that they would never say in person, things that are accurate, misleading. They hide behind this anonymity and people need to understand that that is not true communication. You can't just stick your head in the sand and say I'm not going to talk about that or I shouldn't talk about it. Someone needs to know. Someone needs to say something. So you know um, it's been said and I, I hope the point came across and some meaningful information came from it. From a standpoint of should other developers do it, I think other developers should do what they feel comfortable with. I certainly had a lot of people say I wouldn't have done what you've done, and and to a large extent, um, you know, commenting on that, you know, it it can be real scary. Uh, it can certainly result in very negative things. Um, you know, for us, um, I don't, you know, time will tell how it results in the end. Um, I think in some stance, uh, some circumstances, it's brought it's brought some attention, and I guess uh, I guess in some ways we'll find out in the end if that's positive or negative. When we created the camera system, we were big believers in the added complexity of controlling the camera and doing the gameplay at the same time was something gamers don't really need to do. And so it's all that training that we've had controlling the, with the camera with the right stick. By throwing that away and just sort of saying, OK, I understand. I'll let the camera do its work. It works like a radar. And I'll just concentrate on the gameplay. Once you do that, it all falls into place. And it's just, it's almost like it's almost like taking that one step that games haven't really done before that we think really makes two humans stand apart, but it also makes it a really unique and interesting game. So well certainly a lot of the criticism came from the Unreal Engine failing us at E3 in 2006. There's no question about that. Um, and uh, you know, we certainly take we've taken action on that. I think Silicon Knights is a developer. Uh, that we'll stand up and say, if the emperor has no clothes, we'll, we'll, we'll stand up and say that. And we'll take stands, and we're going to do what's right, whether it's popular or not. Well, I think it certainly, uh, it certainly was a very difficult uh, hurdle to overcome. Um, having to rewrite the engine uh, was not something we wanted to do, nor something we'd planned on doing. And um, it's something that you know no developer should have to do. But it's something that, through sheer tenacity and devotion to the project, that our team overcame it. And uh, we feel really good about the end result. We think the game is excellent. It's one of the best games we've ever made. And you know, from that standpoint, I think uh, gamers hopefully will enjoy it for what it is. We had no intentions of playing it out in the press. And Epic was the one who brought it to the press. Um, we were quite happy with it not even being brought up in the press at all. Um, you know, it's a thing for the courts that we think needs to be held separately. But uh, you know, it's it's publicly available. There's documents there that you can check out, and you should, you know, if you're interested, you should check them out. I think most the action, the action, the action hybrid approach of sort of it's an action game and it's an RPG game. We really have struck a unique balance with the, that combined with the camera system and the control scheme. There is no other game on any console that, come close, that comes close to what 2Human is. And it's so different that some people don't even understand it when they first pick it up. But it's certainly not something that you can understand through videos. And I think through the demo, once you know, gamers sit down and play it, that they're really going to like it. And you know, uh, the response has been, in the majority, very, very positive. So we're really happy. We've got over a million downloads. We've got a lot of people saying they spent more time with the demo than they have with some games. And they can't wait to get their hands on the final ones. Not really. I'm not concerned about the critical reception at all. Do I think people are going to be critical? Well, people already have. People were critical about the game before they even played it. So I don't think that's necessarily going to change. I think if people see the game for what it is and review the game for what it is, then it'll get a good reception. It's a solid game. Um, we've made a lot of games. Uh, we stand behind it. We wouldn't release the game until it was ready. So we feel really good about that. In the end, um, if we're going to worry about critical reviews, then we're in the wrong industry. Um, what I and I think people at Silicon Knights are more concerned with are when people play the game, are they going to have a fun time, and do they feel that they're being entertained? And that's all that matters. Yeah.